So this first example is number three from the 2021 exam. And the problem is um, the values of a table represent a linear relationship between X and Y. What is the rate of change of Y with respect to X? The first thing I wanna to say to you is if you see the words rate of change when you're taking an end of course exam, you are being asked to find the M or slope in that problem. I'm gonna show you how to do this on the Desmos calculator. The same Desmos calculator you will have access to while testing. And I like to do this in a little bit of animated forms so it sticks in your mind when you're testing. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna punch the plus sign. I'm gonna tap the table and I'm gonna type. I'm gonna type the information that's present in the problem into the table just as it is in the problem. So far, I haven't done any math. I've just done some typing. Now I'm going to check myself. Negative 8.5, negative 6.5, negative 2.5, negative 1, negative 92, negative 72, negative 32, negative 17. Have a little typo there. That's okay. Fixed it. All right. So I press the plus sign. I tap the table. I type the information. Now it's tilde time. So I'm going to type Y1 tilde M X1 plus B. This calculator is going to spit out the slope. M or slope is 10. The slope or rate of change or M in this problem is 10. And so we're going to select the M, which is 10, which is answer A. And that is all that there is to using tilde time. But wait, there's more. Because it's not like there's just going to be one question on your test where you can use tilde time. Here's question number nine from the same exam, the same year. Number nine. The graph of a linear function g passes through the points negative 7, negative 4, and 7, 6 as shown. What are the slope and y-intercept of graph g? So guess what? This is a perfect tilde time problem as well. So I'm going to bring my calculator back up, and I'm going to clear it out. And just like in the last problem, in animated fashion, I'm going to do the exact same thing. So what were my steps? I'm going to punch the plus sign. I'm going to tap the table. I'm going to type the info. So I'm going to punch the plus sign. I'm going to tap the table. I'm going to type the info. And the info here is given in point format. So it's easier for me to go left to right. And just like the last problem, I'm going to check myself. Negative seven, negative four, seven, six. It's worked out okay. And now it's tilde time. Y1 tilde M1 plus B. And if I read down here, you get a decimal. I do get B also. B is the Y intercept in Y equals MX plus B. The B here is one. The B is one, which means that our answer is either B or D, because those are the only two answers with the Y intercept of one. Now, the M is a decimal. So what I can do is look at my answer B and do five divided by seven. And I can look at my answer B and do seven divided by five. And I can say which one of those answers matches 0 0.714. 
five over seven matches 0 0.714. So the slope is five over seven. So the answer that has a slope of five over seven and a B of one is answer B. Give you a second to see that. Seven over five is 1.4. That's bigger than one. It's not the right answer. So the correct answer here is B. Let me bring the calculator back up so you can see that one last time. So the slope is five over seven and B is one. So B is the correct answer here. But wait, there's more because it's not gonna be one or two questions on the test. This will help you with, in fact, in the 2021 exam, you could have used this on about 11% of the questions on the test. So it really, really was a help. Let's take a look at question 17 on the same exam. So question 17 on the same exam says, the table of values shows a linear relationship between X and Y. What is the slope of the lines represented by the table of values. This is a perfect problem for tilde time. If you're asked for slope or rate of change or y equals mx plus b or b and you don't know what b is, this is a place that you can go for help. So the, the first thing I'm gonna do is bring my calculator back up and clear it out. Your calculator will clear automatically between questions when you take the STAR exam. Now, what were our steps? We're gonna punch the plus sign. We're gonna tap the table. We're gonna type the info, and then it's tilde time. So here we go. We're gonna punch the plus sign. We're gonna tap the table. We're gonna type the info. And then we always proof ourselves because I have to look away when I'm looking, when I'm typing some numbers sometimes. So yeah, see, I typed something wrong down there. No big deal. All right, it's that. So negative seven, negative two, three, eight, nine, one, one negative seven, negative 15. And now it's tilty time. Y1 till the M x1 plus b. If we scroll down, we can see the m here is negative 1.6. Now, because negative 1.6 is a nice, tidy, rounded number, this fraction circle here will actually convert it to a fraction for us. When things have been rounded, we can't do this but negative 1.6 hasn't been rounded. So the slope or M negative 1.6 is actually the fraction negative eight over five. Negative eight over five is our M or slope or rate of change. So the correct answer here for the slope or M or rate of change is negative eight over five. And I used a fraction circle to help me get there. So that's answer A, and that is the correct answer to this problem. Thank you for joining me as I went through tilde time. One last tip on tilde time. Sometimes I get asked the question after working with students, well, where do I find the tilde? You sometimes have to find it on your keyboard by the one, but it's also available on the calculator. When you punch ABC and roll to the side, you'll see a tilde there. So that's where you can find the tilde on your calculator. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you have a great day.